rock a bye Teddy. Oh, <laughs> hi, I'm Sophie, and welcome to my world. You know, I got a lot of responses from my little uh, teddy bear duct tape pillow. A lot of people said, can you show us how to make that little eye mask that Teddy's wearing? So <laughs> I figured I might as well show you how. You don't need many supplies, just some duct tape, pen, and a little bit of uh, elastic. I'm going to show you how to make one right now. So for this project, we are going to need some stuff. We're going to need a ruler. We're going to need some elastic. Now, if you don't have elastic and you have yarn or string or ribbon, that's completely fine. And I'll explain what the difference is if you're going to use that when I make it. But this is uh, elastic. It's a stretchy elastic. It happens to come in a fabulous color, too. You're going to need a sheet of duct tape fabric. Now, I will tell you how you figure out how much duct tape fabric in just a second. You're going to need some scissors. You're going to need a Sharpie pen, that is, if you want to draw the little eyelashes onto, onto Teddy's eye mask. If you don't want to do the eyelashes, then don't worry about the Sharpie pen. You're going to need a dry erase marker. Now, the dry erase markers are really fantastic. These are what you use on a whiteboard. They're fantastic for making a pattern and then having it wipe away. And I'll show you what I mean by that in just a second. And you're going to need a hole punch. Now, if you don't have a hole punch, you can always use your scissors. But a hole punch on this case is going to be the safest way to go. So what I'm going to first do is figure out how much fabric I need for Teddy's eye mask. Teddy is rather small. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to measure from the side of Teddy's head to the other side of Teddy's head. And I kind of measure that pretty loosely here. And I get, oops, let's do it the right way. So it starts over here with one inches, and I kind of roll it across here, and it's going to be about five inches. And then I'm going to measure up. Oop, Teddy's eyes showing. Oop. Uh, measure up from the side here, and it looks like about one and a half. So I'm going to need, I'm going to put Teddy off to the side here, I'm going to need a piece of fabric that is five inches by one and a half. Now I always make my fabric a little bit bigger so I have some place to go. So I've got one and a half inches here, and I've got five inches here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to measure up here and mark with my dry erase marker, I'm going to mark one and a half inches up. Now, to make the eye mask shape, I'm just going to do this freehand. I'm going to go straight across the top, and I'm just going to slowly slope down on one side. And then you have to remember that his nose is in the center here. Now, what I'm going to do is fold this in half so I can mark where that center is. Remember, this is a dry erase marker, so what's great about the dry erase marker is I'm going to be able to wipe this away. So watch what happens. I'm going to slowly come up to make a nose right there. Now, I'm only going to do half, and the reason I'm only going to do half is because I'm going to fold this in half and cut it exactly, and that'll give me two sides that are exactly the same. So I'm going to fold this in half, and I'm going to follow along my line. And because I, this is a dry erase, that's, oops, see how it erases really quickly? If I'm going to um, use the dry erase marker, I don't have to worry about cutting inside the lines. I can actually cut outside the lines. So I'm just going to cut around on the outside of my lines, cut up for that nose. There we go. Now watch this. This is the great thing about the dry erase marker. Look. It's like it never even existed. Isn't that cool? So you can use that whenever you're doing patterns and stuff because it'll just erase right off. Now the one thing I have learned is you don't want to let that sit and sit and sit and sit for a long period of time. If you let it sit for like you know, half hour or more, it will leave little stains. So you do want to just use it when you need it. Okay, now this needs to go on the sides of Teddy's head. So I'm going to put a hole here and a hole here on either side. Ka-chunk, ka-chunk. And ka-chunk, ka-chunk. Now, if you're going to use either yarn or ribbon or something like that, this is where you would cut two pieces, and you would probably cut them about six to nine inches long so that you can take it around the back and tie it. And what you would do is tie one side on this side, one side on that side. But I'm going to be using elastic. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure Teddy's head here. And Teddy's going to need at least that much elastic and a little bit more for me to tie off. So I took his measurements of his head. One more time, I'll show you. Took the measurements of his head from side to side there. And then I gave myself another like six inches here, right there. And the reason I do that is because I want to be able to tie this off easily. So now I'm going to slip this through the hole, tie it off, and I can snip the extra because I don't need that. And now here's where I'm going to get Teddy back. Teddy, I'm going to take this eye mask off for now. Put this over Teddy's eyes, pull it through, and I'm going to pull it through and make it tight to where Teddy needs it, which is right about there. And then I'm going to slip it off and tie it off. See, that's why I gave myself that extra bit. And the reason I gave myself that extra bit is just with my fingers and stuff, I don't want to be stuck trying to fumble with teeny, teeny, tiny little pieces of elastic. OK, now I just snip off that extra. And there you have it. Now, if you want to, you can draw your little eyelashes on now, which is what I did. But in this case, I think we'll leave it plain. Let's see. And there, there's Teddy with his pink, if he's pink, feeling pink and spotty. But I'm thinking Teddy's feeling rather blue today. And he wants to get his Z's, so I'm going to give him one with the eyelashes on it. And there you have it. Shh. A sleep mask that's perfect for Teddy. I'm going to put him to bed now. He had a very, very long day. For more really great ideas for your dolls and toys, come and check us out at sophie-world.com.